What's going on everybody? This is More Power 35 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day. Today what I got for you guys is another gameplay commentary for you guys, but uh, this is something that I felt like um, needed to be talked about uh, and not very many people are talking about it, or at least YouTubers that I've seen, so um, hopefully I can get my voice out there on this. Um, but I want to ask you guys a question, and it's something that's been stirring in my mind for the last couple of weeks, and I finally feel ready to ask this question. So, uh, when I ask this question, I want you to pause the video, comment in the comment section what your answer is, and then um, listen to my explanation on why I want to talk about this. So, the question is, should we trust Infinity Ward to develop another Call of Duty? Now, while you are uh, pause the video, take a minute to actually think about all the things um, encompassing... Uh, both of the titles that the new Infinity Ward has made. And I'm actually going to go through these um, some stuff with you. So, what we're going to talk about is uh, we're going to talk about um, the good and bad aspects of both of the, the titles that they released. We're going to start with Ghost. Now, Ghost, we're going to talk about the bad stuff first because this game, I played one match on, of TDM on Ghost and I was absolutely stunned by how bad the game was. Um... I felt like it had bland maps because I've uh, I looked through all the maps on um, Ghost. It had bland maps. The campaign was really dull, and the multiplayer experience was just really, really lackluster. Um, Call of Duty Ghost is probably going to go down as one of the worst Call of Duties in history, but uh, there were good points on it. I've seen a lot of competitive players say that it had really good competitive modes, and that the competitive uh, year that year was really good. And then I've also heard some people say that the sniping was really good on it too. I personally didn't know because I never actually sniped on that game. So I wouldn't be able to give you guys an informative uh, opinion on that. But um, but overall, Ghost, it was... Um, I feel like it wasn't um, where it should have been because we, we had so many really good Call of Duties before it. And then we get Ghost. And then it's just, what what is this? What... Infinity Ward, why would you make such a, a bad game? And truth of the matter is, it wasn't the same developing team from Modern Warfare 3 to to uh, Ghost. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and talk about um, the fact that after Ghost uh, came out, we, we got Advanced Warfare and we got Black Ops 3. And then it came turn for Infinity Ward to release their new game. To the Call of Duty community and with the reception that Ghost got and how um, it it was really lackluster and it left a bad taste in people's mouth they were like okay we're really you know we I don't know if we're gonna like what Infinity Ward has to offer us and that actually kind of hurt call or Infinity Ward's new game because they already had a bad rep before the title came out and people were like I don't know if we should really you know I don't know if this is gonna be good or not and me being the optimist that I am I was like I'm gonna wait until see what they um see what they come out with uh, see what the the leaks or what the teasers point out and then we get the rumblings uh, about you know three uh, right in the middle of Black Ops 3's life cycle that we are getting a futuristic space Call of Duty then I was like, ah, I don't know if I like this. Everybody in YouTube comments were like, oh, we, we hate this. This is so bad. And I'm like, well, I'm at least going to give the game a chance. Let's see if it, let's see if the rumors are true and see if it's actually going to be a space Call of Duty. Well, when they announced that uh, Call of Duty 2016 was going to be infinite, or infinite Warfare, where it was going to be taking place, the majority of it in space, everybody lost it. Uh, the trailer came out. And it is now one of the top five most disliked trailers in the history of YouTube. And that's that's really bad because Call of Duty normally has great trailers, great launches, and they just it, it was bad. So Infinite Warfare comes out, we get the we get the beta um, you know, later than we did for Black Ops 3 because they wanted to wait and unveil multiplayer gameplay until COD XP which was odd in its own right but we were like okay we'll, we'll wait so we get the the beta and you know they they tell us everything that we get in the beta and then it goes to launch on beta day and the matchmaking servers were crap it literally took me 12 hours to get a um to get a match on 
uh, Infinite Warfare the first time I played it, and then even after they fixed the matchmaking services, it was still really hard to connect with your, your friends and play with your, your group in the game. And that's just something that I felt like was like, what the heck's going on here? You guys have had three years to develop this matchmaking system, and it's broken on day one of the beta. So they end up extending the beta for the PlayStation 4, and then they um, allow players to, uh, from the PlayStation play in week, Weekend 2, which was which was really good. Um, the beta went smooth. They added Infected. It was broke when they added it. So they took it out, and they're like, okay, we're going to work on it. We'll add it back in when the regular game comes out. So the full game comes out, and I'm being the optimist, I actually was really hyped for Infinite Warfare. And the 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 way the beta started out, it kind of you know dipped my spirits in that aspect. Um, and then we get Infinite Warfare. Uh, Infinite Warfare comes out. Uh, the game modes I thought I think are there are three game modes that I personally love, even though they've taken two of them out. Uh, mult well, one multiple times, but one has recently been taken out and it's actually being added back in. But the game modes that I love in Infinite Warfare is Infected, now that it's actually working properly. I love Infected. I um, actually I haven't posted a gameplay of Infected in a while, but I'm actually going to go back and do that. Um, gun game, I absolutely love. Um, and then Reinforced, I actually re really like that game mode, even though it's kind of weird. But, uh, you know, going into the bad things on Infinite Warfare, we have the terrible beta. Uh, or the terrible start to the beta. You got bland maps again. There's they're they're not they're not standing out like a Treyarch map would. And then the buggy game modes where they're having to take game modes out, put them back in. It's just it's not you know it's not becoming of a developer to have to work on these game modes so much. And then competitive players are they're not even they're not even really hyped for the competitive season um i've seen a lot of competitive players saying why are, there, there was a lot of talk as to whether infinite warfare um wouldn't actually be the main competitive that it would go back to cod for remastered but it is infinite warfare but i'm not too big into competitive so i can't really tell you guys about that but that's just the things that i've been personally hearing and, uh, but basically to wrap this up, I just want to say that Infinity Ward has had two cracks at regaining our trust, and they're not doing a really good job of it. Um, personally, I don't think I can trust Infinity Ward to develop another Call of Duty game in 2019, but the the bright side is they, they have something to prove. They should have a chip on their shoulder going into their development of the new game and say, hey guys, we need to we need to blow Treyarch out of the water because Treyarch right now is the king of COD developing. Um, and with Sledgehammer and Infinite, 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 Infinite uh, Infinity Ward, sorry guys, uh, trailing in the background as the, the like the little stepchildren. Um, but I feel like um, now that we're probably going to be back to boots on the ground, uh, hopefully Infinity War can learn from their mistakes and move on. And this is in no way, shape, or form me bashing Infinity War. This is just me sharing my opinions on this certain topic. But uh, leave a comment in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, if we should trust them, if we should not trust them, um, if we should, you know, if they should drop them as a developer, I don't know if they're going to go that route, but, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did smash that like button, let me guys know what you think of my, uh, my opinion on this and what you thought of this video in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button guys. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the next video.